Gotta go cause I got me a drop top And if I hit the switch then I can make the ass drop No destination, just ride and watch me gas hop Through the intersection, shit bouncing like a grasshopper Cross threaded 13s, bitch the man right her Cocked up on three wheels, make it slam this Rise and shine, plays and pips, <laughs> and superstars. Y'all remember that song? Maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Eee, Saturday. Uh, early at the shop. We opened a little later. It's 7. It ain't even that early. I've been here for like an hour. Anyways, what's going down, YouTube? Um, shit. I done come out of retirement. Uh... What I mean by that is I hadn't been working on anybody's shit, much less any custom work for people. Uh, but we bagging this big Titanic motherfucker. <laughs> no, this ain't mine. I did not purchase this. This is a Chevy. This is a Chevy Impala. I believe a 75. Um, yeah, this thing is... Uh, uh, I mean, it's a hood classic. Need some milk. <laughs> Uh, the photo variety with the post, but it is a Chevy. Uh, 75, I believe. Yeah, 75 Impala, four door. So I hadn't really did any work for people. I can't even finish my damn projects. Y'all know that. But he had been told me like a year or two ago, he wanted me to bag it. He finally, I said, man, get the parts. He finally got the parts. Uh... Yeah, man, I started, I probably should have started the video yesterday or the day before. I've had it for like two days. I, uh, I didn't, one day I got sick. I didn't touch it at all. The first day I was just trying to figure stuff out. Uh, so far, I think we got tank placement and compressor placement. That's what I've been working on. And usually we would put this in the trunk, y'all. I, you, these trucks got hella big trunks, so I, I have, uh, usually we would have plenty of space. But he's putting a big ass uh, speaker box, and he said this line up is what I could work with. And I'm like, man, he got these long ass tanks, and he got four compressors. He wants this to move. So all that shit was not going to fit in there at all. I might still put the rear stuff back here, so. But I decided to fit half the stuff over there in the front. These cars are very heavy all the way around. And then especially if he's going to put a big old box. Uh, but he did get half inch valves. They sent him 3 8 lines. So that's one thing that we got to upgrade. Uh, I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. I really thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was. But it is what it is. I already took the job on. I do need the extra money. It's been slow at the shop. And yeah. So, come along with me and see if I remember how to bag a car out. <laughs> you? That motherfucker already sleep on the job. Well, I might as well just show y'all the parts he does have. Well, he has pretty much everything. Uh, down there, y'all can see the bags. These are uh, the compressors. See, he gonna do four of them things. One, two, three, and then the one we got outside on mock-up. Uh, he got a few valves, actually. He got like two or three sets of valves. A couple sets of remotes he said he had to order because I don't know why. But we'll choose the best. I think we're going to go with the individual valves. He does have, uh, that's for the water. He does have like a brain like that. What I mean by brain, this is the valves. And then he also has, let me show y'all real quick. He, he also has another brain. Oh no, that's another control. This is the other brain. Valves, a valve block or whatever you want to call it. Then he also got this. Uh, how you open that thing? I already opened it before. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he got the... Uh, 
indiv individual style valves, like the old school style. These are actually much faster than the blocks. The blocks are actually a cleaner, easier job, less hassle. But these are more work to install because you got to plumb them and all that. But they, they're faster and they're half inch. The only bad thing is... Let me show you all the rest of the shit he got. Uh, them two long ass air tanks that are hard to fit because they're fucking long. He got cups, so it's not going to be a hard job. I don't know why they sent bottom plates. That look like a C10 plate. Hopefully that fits. If not, I'm going to have to make some bottom cups. Hopefully I don't. I thought that I told him order everything, so it'll be an easy job for me. They send a lot of the wiring. I ain't gonna lie. He bought a lot of a lot of the shit. That's good. But relays and shit. Uh, harness. Yeah, relays, harnesses. Oh, this is what I want to show y'all real quick. Ah, you dirty bitch. He did get half inch fittings, but for three eighths line. So we need a half inch line, half inch fittings to half inch line. To go faster. Uh, yeah. That's the parts we got to work with. That's pretty much everything you need. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to buy a few odds and ends. I already had to buy some hardware to mount the compressors. What's this? Oh, yeah. Gauges. I don't know what uh, I want to. I don't even know if I want to put the gauges. I'm going to be honest with y'all because I don't have line for the gauges. I don't have fittings for the gauges. Uh, we'll get, we'll get, we'll cross that road when we cross it, but that's what we got for parts. Fotis 75 Impala, uh, bag job. All right, let me show y'all what I'm working with. Man, I think it tucks in there pretty nicely, honestly. And with the filler, you won't be able to see it. I use the original, uh, bolts off the bumper. This side has that damn license plate, so you ain't even gonna be able to see it. At all, man, and this whole sturdy as hell. Move the whole goddamn car. I think I did. I, I think I like it right there, honestly. Uh, I cut the other piece of C channel right now. I'm finna mark how I did the holes so I could do it exactly the same for the other side. I'm also gonna clean up the bracket, y'all. Uh, I'll probably round out the corners, paint it nice and black. But I gotta mount everything, make sure everything's gets mounted. Let me try to do the other side real quick and then uh, figure out this tank situation. How we gonna mount that? Uh, I had about got about got done the other mount. What I ended up doing was flipping these around, so I had a smaller bracket. Like I ain't had to make it as wide. So let me flip these things around right quick. Yeah, the good thing about these compressors, sometimes you can mount them sideways. Just change the bracket over to this side, not upside down because you got the head. But like off to the side, I've done that before. That's what I'm talking about, just moving the brackets. That way, I didn't have to have as wide as a bracket to hold them on. All right, let's go test fit this one. It's going to work. I already had measured it, but let's double check that thing. All right, I got my, uh, I drilled out my holes already. So, I'm going to bolt that thing up in there just to double check. That way, it lands where it needs to land. Let me mock that, mock that thing up right quick. All right, there we go. Look like it's gonna fit all right. I'm gonna mark where it sat right there. It's pretty close to the other side. It's like an eighth inch, a little bit more in, but that's where it, it's clearance perfectly. You ain't even gonna see that thing. Once the bumper filler's on that thing, you ain't even gonna see it. Let me show y'all how it look underneath. Oh! Pfft. Oh! I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I'm going to mark it right there, do my holes, bolt that thing down, and like I said, I'm going to clean those brackets off, but once I figure everything out 100%, so let me mark that right quick. I right, got my holes drilled out, got my hardware ready. Uh, hopefully I marked it decently, it's kind of hard to mark the holes. I just sat there and kind of marked them. <laughs> nah, they're, they're gonna work. They're gonna work. Let me mount this thing up. And that's the thing with this dog. It's on, off, on, off three, four, five times. Make sure everything works, and then I'll clean up the bracket. All right, look like my holes lined up. Yes, sir. Got that thing 
mount it up. Let me go ahead and put it right back up underneath there. Make sure our clearances is good. Yes, sir. Bam, look like everything worked. Hell yeah. Clearance is good. Looks like that's a go. So now, I don't know if I'm too goddamn how dark it is. I got the tank. I made a little bit of clearance right there. I have to make a little bit more just so it won't. It's actually just snug up against it in there right now. But I got to figure out how I'm going to mount it. I think I'm mounted to the radiator support. Should be fine. But how is the question? Or I could also come off some brackets off the bumper as well. Flip this around. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me put some thought into it. And I'll click y'all back on. And not quite like GM. Not perfect, perfect. But we're going to use the same uh, deal. But actually, I went from that two holes to that. Like I said, it ain't perfect, but we gonna do it. Just like GM mounted the, uh, right here to support. We all, we gonna put that back too. I just took it off so we could mess with it. But yeah, that's how I'm gonna mount the tank. Things gonna be pretty good. I think one on each side is gonna be fine, but if not, we got space to put the other one right here. That tank has three holes. You don't have to put all three bolts on one side. But if I don't like just this one, I think it's going to be hella sturdy. Because I found some nice GM style bolts. So, you know. Uh, if that one don't hold it, I'll just throw the other one up here. Have four in total. So now let me do this other side and we'll mock up the tank again. And if I hit the switch, bitch, I can make the ass drop. And if I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. And if I hit the switch, I 